Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. I appreciate you hanging out upstairs with us and by popular demand, I'm making this quick tutorial video. I've had some folks reach out to me and say, hey, I want to stream Coin Ops next to the At Games Legends Ultimate, but I'm having difficulty with the Arcade Net link and my controls not being mapped or not working. Uh, so I'm going to show you a quick configuration file, how we're going to get things set up. That way you shouldn't have any additional issues moving forward. Again, this is for CoinOps Next, not for any of the other CoinOps builds. And of course, this would preferably be for the CoinOps Next Arcade Edition, because this patch will work for the main controls. Um, so we're going to show you all that right after this. And if you stay tuned to the end, when you see it up and running, you'll see an awesome change to the menu system once you fire it up. Okay guys, we are over on our PC and the first thing I'm going to do to try and make this uh, a simple process but also visually let you see what's happening so you kind of understand it more because guess what, coin ops is, might be new to you, might also, and it probably is, it's new to me. I've only been messing around with coin ops for the last couple of months so I'm definitely not an expert but learning more and more every day just like you. I'm going to create a quick folder on my desktop here. It's an empty folder, I'm just going to name it Arcade Net Link. And that's all I'm going to name it, Arcade Net Link Fix. So I'm going to have this empty folder where I'm going to put a special configuration file change that you're going to need. Now I've already downloaded the file. I will have a Dropbox link in the video below for you to find this file. It's the Arcade Net Link Patch Test 3. That's the most current version. I'm going to right click on it. I'm sorry, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it into this little folder here I made on my desktop right there. I changed the tile to a larger view so you can see it and at this point we're just going to use 7-zip or you can use WinRAR, an extraction tool. Just extract here, it's going to create another folder. What you want to do is double click and open that folder and there's everything we need. As always, CoinOps folks are great about adding readme text, readme files, so if you want you can go ahead and open these up and read through. You'll see the fixes they put in making sure that the button configurations are compatible with the Legends Ultimate for the main controls. Okay, so now we have two windows pinned on our desktop. We're going to copy and paste everything from the patch file over into the root of our CoinOps folder. Let it override any existing files and boom, you're done. You should be good to go. It's that simple of a process, it's a really cool patch, and they've added an awesome feature, which I'll show you here once we activate this on our At Games Legends Ultimate in just a second. Okay, so we put the right file in. We should have everything we need. Let's go ahead and open our Arcade Netlink application, and let's go ahead and get it fired up. And boom, we're sending our computer over via our local internet to our At Games Legends Ultimate. We're going to switch over to the At Games Legends Ultimate, and I'm going to show you something really cool with this patch file. Okay guys, make sure you do not have a controller still plugged into your laptop or your PC, otherwise it might think when you hop on the arcade machine that you're player two, and that that controller plugged into the PC is player one. Head on over to your BYOG, you'll see your computer's there. Go ahead and click on the tile, should get your computer fired up and you're now going to be looking at your desktop. You'll notice we are on the At Games Legends Ultimate. You'll see the counters on the top right for the firmware. Find your CoinOps Next folder and launch it and take a look at that cool menu. And also, the arcade machine that is displayed is no longer the default CoinOps arcade machine. You'll notice that that is now an At Games Legends Ultimate, which is a really, really cool feature, especially when you're playing on the At Games Legends Ultimate. And from here, all of your coin ops arcade games, the controls will be mapped. Okay, as we fire up one of my favorite games of all time, X-Men, uh, make sure that you you hit the menu button, make sure you're on game mode um, on the top there, or you can jiggle your joystick. It should switch you automatically to game mode as well. If not, hit menu, then game. Um, and now from here, your controls will be mapped, your rewind button, is your coin button so just hit your rewind button that way you can 
get the games launched. And sure enough, all of your controls are going to be mapped, and you'll be able to do all the great moves and combos on all those games built into the CoinOps Next Arcade Edition, um, and you shouldn't have any issues. Everything is working, playing. I'm standing in front of my At Games Legends Ultimate, having a blast. You'll notice the counters are at the top right corner with the frames per second and the latency and all that kind of stuff, and just having a good time. And it's a, just one more awesome way to play additional games on the At Games Legends Ultimate. And keep in mind, guys, this is just for Coin Ops Next. This is not for any of the other Coin Ops builds. Now hopefully here you enjoyed that quick walkthrough, hopefully that will help some of you who are newer to coin ops, just like myself, on getting your arcade net link controls mapped for your main games on coin ops next. Any questions or comments, feedback, leave them below, hopefully this helped, and by all means guys, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, like, comment, and subscribe, I try to respond to as many comments as I possibly can, hope you guys have a great day, thanks so much for hanging out upstairs with us and spending some time in P-Dubs Arcade Loft, have a great day guys.